If you use a DSLR for recording a video, you've probably been in a situation where it will just stop recording suddenly with no warning. Particularly a problem if you're in front of the camera and you can't see the indicator light on the back. If this is you, I have the perfect, crazy, over-engineered DIY solution. This is Azel's TV. Let's make something. Right, here's a situation. When my DSLR is recording, I've got a light on the back that flashes on and off. But nothing at all on the front. So if I'm in front of the camera and it stops recording, I've got no warning whatsoever. And I could lose several minutes at a time of footage. So I'm gonna use, this is fiddly. I'm gonna use a fiber optic cable to extend the light round to the front. So this will be pressed up against the light on there. And that there we facing frontwards. So I'll need to make a wooden base to mount on here to, to fit everything onto. So first job is to put it onto some graph paper and make a template. Here we go. That's the template fits on the bottom like that. That still opens. Let's cut that out of wood. After much sawing and filing and drilling, we have this. This goes on the bottom here, like that. And this is the screw that holds it on. That's going to go through the bottom, and then this washer will go over the top like that, and it will it will be captive and hold this in. But that won't fit over there. It's the hole too small, which is the idea of it. So I've got one cut in half and that will epoxy in like that that will sit below the surface of the wood that will hold that captive and I'll have some black foam going over this whole lot to act as a grip on the bottom of this so next I'm going to epoxy these in here to hold this in place fully cooked so that's captive in there and that still rotates what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a wooden milled wheel to go over the top of this and then this will go on the bottom of that acrylic and drill a hole through there and super glue the fiber optic cable into that so the light goes through and out the other side and that will mount on the front like there somewhere I'm not sure where to put this yet but I can make this shorter if need be and I made that out of acrylic so that I can still see the light on the back if I've got all this attached like that so I can still use it properly all right let's get gluing some things and that's got a glue overnight. So that glue right there. 
and then I can kill it. Is that acrylic, please? Kill the hole. That fits in quite snugly. There's a raw. Now this goes in there. I mean, that almost exactly. So, if put that in forward mode, you want to just about see the light still. And we have a light coming out the other end. So, on the front, you can see it. Oh, actually, it's turned. Oh, there it is. I still see it. I'm at the wrong angle to see it. There you go. Now, let's get this off of here. So now out to the front, I've made this. I bet this steel rod. Painted, and then I've got to do the wheel on the bottom. While well, that's all gluing, I'm going to cut out a thumb wheel. Old school. <laughs> Boom! Just like that. Most precarious glue up ever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this works. <laughs> Looking at it from the front, you get this, and this glues on here. A fiber optic cable glues into the hole right there. Glue is fully cured. Like that. So the fiber optic goes in there, wraps around, connects to the side here, pokes out there. Right, not much left to do apart from spray painting it and fixing this to there. Should have really spray painted it before I put this on. But there you go. Wow. Fail. That was the messiest masking job of all time. Of all time! Now to take it to the world's biggest spray booth. bring my things glue to the side the side and the back and this will thread through let's see if I can do this on camera this will thread through here mm. yes look at that brilliant this goes through hell Then I'm going to cut 
the excess and glue this together. And that's pretty much it done. So let's do that. It is finished. Look at that. Shall we try and see it in action? I think we should. So that was this week's project. I'm actually using it right now. Have a look. It's looking quite good. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll put out a new video every Tuesday, sometimes on a Thursday. So hopefully see you next time. Have a great week.